the half-breed son of Goku and Chi-Chi. Gohan is believed to be the most powerful Saiyan of all time in the past. Nowadays, he isn't quite so dominant, but the young Saiyan still has a few tricks up his sleeve. Being the first son of two martial artists set Gohan on a pretty straightforward path early on. The fact that his planet was constantly under attack from extraterrestrial forces also didn't give him much time to grow up. All of this though sculpted Gohan into one of the strongest warriors on Earth. Eventually he settled down, but even now, Gohan's power and depth of abilities would leave most fighters in awe. Continuous energy bullets is a desperation move, often pulled out near the bitter end of a fight, or to deal with a pesky opponent who's a bit too quick to hit otherwise. However, they are more than just your average key blast on a pound for pound basis, and the rapid fire nature of these energy waves make them quite effective. Now this move isn't exactly unique to Gohan, as nearly all the Z fighters can do it, but it's certainly worth the mention. Now this one is pretty cool, and quite edgy to boot. Quiet Rage is one of Gohan's many rushing attacks. Gohan uses it to utterly destroy the Cell Juniors that everyone else was having significant trouble with at the time. The move is utterly without mercy, as it not only sliced the poor Mini-Me Cell clones in two, but it also made them explode. A little reminder, never get a Saiyan angry, especially Gohan. Special Beam Cannon is one of the signature moves of the reformed Demon King Piccolo, which he eventually passed down to Gohan. Aww. The move is used by the user pressing their fingers on their forehead to charge key, then shooting the beam with the same fingers. This ability is great for penetrating through objects, or even multiple fighters, and it's quite devastating. It's sort of like a pressure washer Kamehameha or Masenko. Kiai is another of Gohan's signature moves. Most often seen used by the Half-Breed Saiyan, Kiai is a quick and effective move that allows a user to attack at range almost instantaneously. To use this ability, Gohan opens his palm and presses it forward, creating invisible shockwaves to strike the opponent. Many other opponents have been shown to be able to use Kiai, but Gohan is one of the users you'll see abusing its impressive effects the most. Being able to effectively punch enemies from far away is certainly an impressive move. Explosive Demon Impact isn't quite as cool as it sounds, but it's still a very effective rush attack nonetheless. With this technique, Gohan flies forward at his opponent and delivers a devastating kick right to their midsection. Man, Gohan sure does have a lot of rush attacks. Guess that's just what teens do, but at least he developed more nuanced attacks in his later years. We gotta give this move some credit though. Gohan kicked Cell so hard that he spat up Android 18. So to be fair, pretty impressive all things considered. Galactic Donut is a pretty funny move with a pretty funny name. However, its potential to restrain the enemy is no laughing matter. While Gohan has showed himself capable of using this move in the past, the user most commonly associated with it has got to be the inventor, the fusion of Trunks and Goten, Gotenks. The user creates a ring of key above their heads that they then place over their opponent. The donut then contracts and constricts the opponent, leaving them open for a follow-up attack. Not the flashiest move, but a reliable way to keep an opponent on their toes. A recent ability in Gohan's ever-expanding bag of tricks, Thunder Bullet is a key blasting technique that allows Gohan to create a small ball of energy that he quickly fires at his opponents. This was first used in Dragon Ball Super, when Goku and Gohan are sparring to train for the upcoming Tournament of Power. Gohan uses it to protect his best dad Piccolo, when Tien is readying to fire the Tri-Beam at the Namekian. Other than that, it hasn't seen much use, but it is a Gohan exclusive move, so maybe we'll get to see it used to its fullest potential down the line. Yet another of Gohan's signature rush attacks, Explosive Combination is an attack exclusive to Gohan that he used against the Bobbity controlled Demon King, Dabora. It was intended to be a sort of a last ditch effort to dispose of the Demon King, but unfortunately for Gohan, he was able to survive the attack in one piece and continue the fight against him. As the name implies, this attack is a series of attacks executed in rapid and explosive fashion, punching the opponent in the air, kicking them back to the ground, and finishing them off with an energy blast. And here we are again, yet another rush attack from Gohan. He really needs to vary up his strategy it seems. In defense of this attack, 
It's especially brutal, and certainly laid the smack down on the evil Majin Super Buu. The move involves a series of punches and kicks that knocks the wind out of opponents and much more. This was a great showing of Gohan's abilities with his new potential unleashed power-up. This is easily one of Gohan's most signature abilities. Passed down to him from his mentor Piccolo, Gohan has used Masenko in very effective fashion for some time now. The move has a ton of different variations and represents a good mix of power and speed, especially when compared to something like the Kamehameha. Unlike the signature beam attack, Masenko is typically much smaller and radiates a yellow color instead of the trademark blue. The aptly named Ultimate Masenko is the strongest version of this attack and was used along with a flurry of blows to distract Frieza while Goku recovered. Super Explosive Wave is the more damaging version of the base Explosive Wave attack. One of the coolest looking moves in Dragon Ball is used by many characters from Saiyans to Frieza and Majin Buu, often being a finishing or desperation move used near the end of a fight. The attack creates a massive explosion of energy that radiates in a spherical shape around the user and damages anyone unfortunate enough to be caught in the blast. A move that is quite reminiscent of the classic Shoryuken from the Street Fighter series, it's fitting that it has an identical effect in Dragon Ball Fighter Z. With the Soaring Dragon Strike Attack, Gohan delivers a hard and fast jumping uppercut directly to the opponent, knocking them up and away. This was used by Gohan after transforming into Super Saiyan 2 during his fight with Cell. Getting hit by this was certainly an ego drain for Cell, as it showed him that he was no match for the little Saiyan with the big muscles. Another move newly utilized by Gohan and Dragon Ball Super, Impulse Fist is an attack that channels the user's key into a super powered up punch. This move was used during Gohan and Goku's fight before the Termina Power. When Goku was forced to block the move, it created a massive crater in the ground surrounding the two fighters, showing just how hard of a strike this would have been if it had connected properly. The old tried and true, never let you down Kamehameha. This move is a staple for just about all the Z fighters, and for some very good reasons. It's a potentially devastating attack that can allow a user to keep a distance away from their opponents. Its only downside is that it takes some time to really charge a really powerful Kamehameha, but a more experienced user can cut that down a bit. Gohan had one of the strongest Kamehamehas in the series, with his famous father-son Kamehameha, which eradicated Cell once and for all. While this is technically a power-up, this ability doesn't follow the usual line of Saiyan progression. Potential Unleashed is a power-up that's just about exclusive to Gohan, and even to this day is considered his strongest form. At the time it was unlocked, it was believed to be stronger than Super Saiyan 3. This form requires the user to be in a very high state of physical and spiritual perfection. As when Gohan started slacking off on his training, he had to fall back to his base Super Saiyan form as he couldn't unlock his potential again. Hopefully, we'll get to see Gohan go even further beyond this ability and become one of the greatest Saiyans once again. Gohan has a pretty impressive set of skills, probably due to the fact that he constantly trains with Dragon Ball's master of techniques, Piccolo. Maybe one day, he can get back to his Dragon Ball Z days of being the strongest living Saiyan.